Lauren, and in this video, I'm going to show you as a service agent how to complete a job in the new mobile app. So from the dashboard, you'll be able to see your jobs for that day. You can also clock in and clock out from the timesheets section right below. If it's easier to navigate to your schedule in the bottom left-hand corner, I'm gonna go ahead and select the schedule icon here. It's going to default to the day selected. You'll be able to see the jobs you have listed, if you wanna see additional details, in the top right-hand corner, there is an up and down arrow. You can expand this to see additional details. For the sake of this demo, we're gonna be completing the installation job. So from here, you can actually clock in directly from the job. It's going to show you the date, the time that you've clocked in, and the job that you're relating it to. So hit save, and then you're clocked in. From here, let's go ahead and click into installation. If you are about to head that way, you can actually send customer communication. You have the option to email or send a text. For the sake of this, we're gonna go ahead and send an on my way text. You can do so from the mobile app or your personal phone. Once you've sent that out and you are ready to head that direction, you can actually click right into the address and you can navigate to the location by clicking in that green bubble. Once you've arrived, you can go ahead and take a look at the notes so you know that you need to take your shoes off before entering. You'll notice any job tags below. If they had included how they heard about us or work order checklist, these are all just for the sake of this demo. Um, your company might have other fields right here that have been filled out. At the very top, you'll notice comments, subtasks, estimates, invoices, files, and timesheets, as well as forms. If you have a subtask sub checklist, you'll notice that here. I'm gonna go back to the info tab here and I'm gonna look below at the job status. Since we've arrived, I'm gonna go ahead and hit in progress. So from here, you also have a actions button in the bottom right-hand corner. So by clicking here, you'll notice you can also send customer communication. Here's where you can attach files and photos. So if you selected this, you can actually upload a photo. So maybe you've taken photos while on the job site. If you wanted to take a photo directly from the app, you could do so, and you can also import from the file repository. So after you've clicked into the field notes and you've entered in notes about the job, you can hit done. And whenever you've completed the job, you just have to select completed. If you are needing to clock out, you can also navigate to the timesheets. And then from here, actions, clock out and hit save. So that's how you complete a job in the Field Pulse 2.0 mobile app as a service agent. If you have questions, comments, or need any support, please don't hesitate to reach out to the customer success team at support at fieldpulse.com. Thank you.